Welcome back to Jero Dynamics. Okay, part three of the uh, Ixalan Draft Booster Box. Lost Caverns of Ixalan Draft Booster Box. We're going to finish this up and then I'm going to open up that uh, box topper and we'll talk about how I felt about opening a box again. Or I can just do it while I'm opening the packs because, oh wait, fungus. A fungus token. It looks like it's wearing a hat. That's cute. <laughs> We have a Captivating Cave, and then the rare is the Cosmium Confluence. We have a Pit of Offerings, which is an uncommon cave. A Triumphant Chomp, Scampering Surveyor, and then we have Grasping Shadows, which I opened up at the end of the last video too. So uh, that's the dual faced card. All right, but yeah, so far uh, I've been enjoying it. I'm, I'm, it's fun to open again. Um, the box was a good price. Hopefully, I can get another one at this price, and uh, you know, makes it worthwhile. So far, the best card I've pulled um, has been the uh, what was it? Shimli, the Shimli, the Inner Sun card. Maybe we can pull a pull something better here. <clears throat> Need a couple more mythics. Token. Cave. We have a full art version of the Restless Ridgeline. Very fun. Manland there. Full art. We have uh, Malamet War Scribe. We have Sorceress Spyglass. We have uh, Kwati uh, Scavenger. I think I had a hard time pronouncing that the first time too. Inverted Iceberg is a common um, dual face. Come on, Mythics. Mythics are really good in this set, too. I need to open a few more. All right, Cave. Oh, there we go. Mythic, uh, Golta Stampede Tyrant. I'm not sure which one's worth more, this or the other one. I think Chimley's still worth more than this. I will check, though. But another nice Mythic. Will be a fun card to play in a lot of decks. Uh, trample when Galta Stampede Tyrant enters the battlefield. Put any number of creature cards from your hand onto the battlefield. I like that a lot. Uh, Cap Let's see. Capra Capricotti? Caprocti? Cap Caprocti. <laughs> Sunborn. <laughs> Is a legendary creature. It was Boros, and I, I got excited, but then it didn't work as a... It wasn't really a dino commander. Fix this real quick. Put a couple of these in the wrong spot. So yeah, I never got the uh, Boros dino commander that I wanted. Let's check real quick on this... Uh, on that latest mythic. Yeah, definitely uh, Chimley's worth more. Chimley's like sitting at about 15 market and then Golta is sitting at nine mar market. Not, not terrible, but so both are pretty good hits. But still, Chimley is winning. Chimley reminds me of Chumley. Chumley from uh, Pawn Stars, what was that? Yeah, Pawn Stars, that's right. He was familiar with magic. He would, uh, whenever they would have someone bring in stuff in Pawn Stars that was magic related or collectible in, in many ways, he was the guy. Bat token. Planes. Foil over the edge. And we have a Matzalant, uh, Mazzalanti, the Great Door, which flips over into the core. All right, that is my rare. Then we have Forgotten Monument. We have Ixalan's Lorekeeper. Starting to get a lot of duplicate uncommons here. 
That's a, it's a good sign for set collecting. Uh, Sith Claw Raptor. Um, Otaklon Landmark is the uh, is the dual face card, but it's common. Flips over into the Otaklon. yeah Levitator. I've I've shown that one. All right, let's keep going. Bat token, hidden cave, or hidden volcano is the cave, a foil colossal dactyl. We have a preacher of the schism is the rare, hoverstone pilgrim, uh, helping hand, guardian of the great door is an angel on Ixalan, uh, visage of dread is the dual face. Um, uncommon in this case it turns into a dread os osiosaur and commons nurturing bristleback Looking forward to that topper. I know it's not a foil in the regular box, or I'm pretty sure it's not a foil. Um, but uh, but there's some pretty good hits in there, some cards that I want for Commander. Fungus Dinosaur Token. Captivating Cave. Deep Root Pilgrimage is the rare. We have Eaten by Piranhas. Thrashing Brontodon is back. We have uh, Chupacabra Echo. <laughs> Wait, what's it do? So it's the same cost as Chupacabra. It's like when Chupacabra Echo enters the battlefield, target creature and opponent controls gets negative X, negative X until end of turn where X is the number of permanent cards in your graveyard. Fun. And then uh, Sahili's Lattice is uh, the uncommon dual face. Turns into... Ooh. Artifact Dinosaur. Uh, Mastercraft Raptor's power is equal to the total power of exiled cards used to craft it. All right. We have a gnome cave foil uh Meslanti with uh, the great door so got a duplicate of that rare but it's a foil so uh, restless vents all right very cool the so my rare is the uh man land the restless vents then we have self-reflection dig site conservator Captain Storm Cosmium Raider seems to be one that I'm opening all the variations of. <laughs> uh, Twists and Turns is an uncommon dual face, which turns into Mycoid Maze. And then Commons. Token. Cave. Oh, foil land. Foil uh, mountain. Nice. I like that. Put that up there. Oh, okay. Molten collapse in this uh, cool, cool art style. I do like it. Molten collapse. Sorcery. Choose one. If you descend this turn, you may choose both instead. Destroy target creature or planeswalker. Destroy target non creature, non land permanent with value, mana value one or less. Cool. Then we have uh, Confounding Riddle. We have Dusk Rose Reliquary. We have Gold Fury Strider. And then the dual, si dual face card is the Dowsing Device, which I've opened already, but yeah. Uh, Geo Grotto. And then Commons. All 
All right, Mythics. Give me a couple more. Only have four packs, so it's unlikely. But <laughs> at least one more, right? All right, Map Token. Cave. We have Braided Net is a dual face. It turns into the Braided uh, Quipu. Then we have Spelunking. We have Cavernous Maw. We have Geological Appraiser. We have Kazlim's Stone Tree is the uh, dual face card common. Three more packs. We have an angel token, pretty cool looking angel token. Definitely different style than your normal angel. Uh, island, rare is bedrock tortoise, which is as long as it's your turn, creatures you control have hex proof. I like that. Um, each creature you control with toughness greater than its power assigns combat damage equal to its toughness rather than its power. Fun, that is fun, all right. Charter Course, Rain Lurk, Ruin Lurker, uh, Quati Scavenger, Inverted Iceberg. Two more packs. Gnome. Cave. Terror Tide. Then we have Hermetic Nautilus. Calamitous Cave In. Bitter Triumph. Uh, Otaclan Landmark. Common. And last pack. Is it gonna be a mythic? Do we get do we pull one more mythic in the in the clutch? Cavernous Souls, Treasure Token, Land, and uh, Starving Revenant, not a Mythic. All right, Spyglass Siren, Volatile Vault, Triumphant Chomp, and then Waterlog Hulk. His, I've shown it, uh, Water Tight Gondola. All right, everybody, that was a lot of fun. Um, I missed uh, being able to open a draft booster box like that. I haven't been able to do that in a, definitely a long time. But let's go ahead and see what did we get. And yeah, I did make good time on this video. A lot better time than the last two. All right, that opened a little weird. Hopefully, uh, see, ah, yeah. And what did we get? Did we get one of the good ones? We've got an expedition map. We sure didn't. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. Expedition map's a fine card. Um, not really what you want to pull in that. But there you go. Expedition map. <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, that was a lot of fun. Um, I'm pretty sure I will get another one. Um, not 100% sure. Sure, 100% sure, no promises, but that's the goal. Get another one, open up another one, another three videos, content. All right, everybody, take care. Have a good day.